What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? My peeps, my peoples, we are in the building. Let's get down to the situation. As you guys know, Cardi B has been victorious against Tasha K as far as in the court of law and she has won her libel, defamation lawsuit, um, invasion of privacy, and she also has been awarded punitive damages as well. And Cardi B was awarded 3.8 million dollars lord have mercy if you talking about sending a message and you know a punishment yes that punishment and that message was sent loud and clear to tasha k baby and any event the judgment amount rounds out to about four million dollars plus interest especially if it's not paid up in full so that's a huge situation but in any event when we talk about it it seems like Tasha K is going to basically fight until the bitter end and she's basically going to take Cardi B back to court because she is going to be appealing the decision allegedly right now it's too soon to do that because Tasha K and Cardi B are allegedly going back to court in 30 days and Tasha K basically feels like she has been victimized in this situation and the machine has came for her and they're trying to stop her because she is blowing up out here and everybody is copying her content so you guys let me know what you think about that situation situation but in any event when it comes to sabrina peterson sabrina peterson has been talked about on tasha k youtube channel and in any event she's feeling a certain type of way about the situation and she's trying to get her celebrity friends and she's trying to get people involved in the situation to bring down tasha k and take down her youtube channel and she's also has a petition for people to sign as well that she has posted but we do know sabrina peterson is cool with jason lee and tasha k and jason lee are not cool people are cool with each other at all and when it comes to dennis mckinley he doesn't feel like or it seems like he doesn't feel like tasha k youtube channel should be removed but in any event you know he got gracie and mercy out there but sabrina pa she's feeling a certain type of way because she was talked about about on tasha k's youtube channel unwind with tasha k allegedly and basically you know her dealings with tristan thomas her and lamar odom dealings and also a scamming things of that nature going on and also her health status so that's a whole lot and she's feeling a certain type of way but we know who sabrina pot is and we know who sabrina peterson is but when it comes to lauren williams she feels like tasha k needs to be canceled immediately so you guys let me know what you think about that situation there has been people that have been interviewed about lamar odom and sabrina paul and allegedly scamming on tasha case channel allegedly so in any event they got a bone to pick especially sabrina pa but it seems like when it comes to lamar odom he ain't worried about it he got a lot of things going on but when it comes to sabrina peterson she's posted on her youtube channel change.org baby remove tasha k from youtube and basically you can see Miss Laura Williams, she's up there with the hands clapping, saying, I am not a fan of cancel culture, but this needs to be canceled. That's how she's feeling about the situation. And now you got Dennis McKinley under it saying, nah, nah, for real though, I usually stay out the BS, but she's wild. But he's kind of saying, no, nah, she don't need to be removed. So here in these streets because Tasha Kaden said some things about, you know, Dennis McKinley. And also you see Sabrina Pa. She's under there and she says, I am with this a hundred percent. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. But in any event, Dennis is like, nah. But Lauren is like, yes, cancel her. Cancel the situation. And she uh, in the is in agreement because her sister Portia Williams was talked about on Tasha K's YouTube channel and Dennis there was a lot of allegation about him scamming hair girlfriends tattoos and you know being too friendly with animals there was a whole lot of things said about him but it seems like it's not facing Dennis McKinley at all because he has been vindicated on the Portia Williams Family Matters show where he has gained a whole new fan base and a whole lot of respect so you guys let me know what you think about that 
that situation. So it is going down. But when it comes to Bobby Lights, Bobby Lights is saying he's taking Tasha K to court and he's going to sue her and he's following the same road that Cardi B followed and he ain't holding back and he ain't playing in the situation because basically he says he has the four elements to prove defamation, to prove, you know, malice, to prove invasion of privacy, to prove false and lies and everything because you know Tasha K and Bobby Lights recently got into it and Tasha K got on her YouTube channel baby and she dragged Bobby Lights and his health status allegedly so right now Bobby Lights is saying that's me I am the plaintiff and I am about to prove four things in the court of law get ready you wicked Boo. I can't say what he said. He said it in Spanish. I am coming and so are my lawyers. She thought she got away. So basically Bobby is saying she thought she got away with the situation. She did not get away with the situation at all. He's coming for her and he is going to be using the same methods and the same step that Cardi B used. And he might even get some support out here from his celebrity friends. So you guys tell me what you think about that situation. Do you think Bobby's going to go all the way? Bobby said he is, but is he, baby? I'm like, OMG. Like, it seems like. The dominoes are falling and they coming. And you got Claudia Jordan basically says, same. I got three evil ones that deserve all the smoke. It's out of control. So is Claudia Jordan going to be out here in these streets? Is she going to be filing lawsuits? Is she going to be saying defamation of character? Is she going to be able to prove the four elements so she can basically get her check and shut people up? But it seems like, you know, Claudia... Claudia Jordan was out here already saying that bloggers are lying on her and she don't understand why they don't like her. And then now there's rumor of her being a, you know, not really liking, you know, women of a darker cue and things of that nature. Claudia says she don't know where it comes from. She tried to reach out to the blogger. She don't understand. She's feeling a certain type of way. But she's saying that's three. So there's two more people that Claudia Jordan feel like that they are being they need to be sued or they need to be removed or she may be taking the steps that bobby lights is taking because she feels like she there is defamation out here on these internet streets towards her and she don't understand why but people would surely tell you in the comment section what they feel but in any event claudia jordan's feeling a certain type of way so are we going to see a trifecta of celebrities just coming for people that say things or do you have to have the four elements of defamation to prove your case in a court of law before you come after bloggers and websites and things of that nature? Mm. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. Bobby Light seems like he's going all the way in. He's been quiet, but he did post this on his Instagram. And do you guys think Bobby Lights have a case? Because every time you mention Tasha K name now with Cardi B, a lot of people are saying Bobby Lights have a case. Bobby Lights. And Bobby Lights is listening and he is paying attention to the situation. And it seems like Claudia Jordan is thinking about making some moves. But we shall see. Because we know Claudia Jordan do want to be talked about. Peace.